so I just dropped my kids off at school and this is Carrie Margaret welcome to Great Love and I was thinking about um, narcissism and healthy self-esteem and I decided to just hit record I'm driving right now so uh, I'm not gonna be looking at the camera very much and I started I decided to hit record so I could catch this moment and catch this thought. And, you know, it's this really interesting thing. Like our society seems to be like obsessed with like narcissism and narcissists. And, um, and there's a lot of narcissistic things that are praised uh, culturally. And I was really thinking about like, what is the difference between narcissism and um, healthy self-esteem. And there's a lot of pieces in this. And I think the main thing really is that in healthy self-esteem, you know, we get to see that we're super special and um, beautiful and um, amazing, you know, human beings. And so is everybody else. That we have special gifts and so does everybody else. Um, that our beauty or our greatness or all these things, they don't make us better than or less than, you know, well, that would be somebody else's beauty or greatness. So our beauty doesn't make us better than anybody else. Somebody else's beauty doesn't make us make them better than us. It's that we all get to be here and uniquely contribute what is really special about each of us. And I think that there is like a level of responsibility in influence. It's kind of similar to the responsibility that we have in relationships. Not like the responsibility in the sense of like, oh, you have to do this. But more of like a responsibility is like, as like an honor that we get to do this. Like if we want to influence people, um, if we want to be in relationship, then the responsibility is that that influence, you know, on social media or YouTube or wherever else, that that influence is going to be um, something that honestly uplifts and nourishes other people and makes them more of themselves. And I would say that in sort of the healthiest relationship and the healthiest way to do relationship is that relationships have this responsibility to honor and uplift the other person and ourselves at the same time. And I know that it's this thing where we kind of popularize this idea of the influencer um, that is so great and so better than um, like, oh, you know, the whole kind of like, look at me movement look at me and my amazing life, look at me and my amazing body, look at me and my amazing beauty, look at me and my amazing skills. Um, and I think the things that a lot of people kind of intuitively feel when they are following different influencers or they're in the different relationships, they intuitively feel when there is a level of like lack of um, self-esteem and lack, and there is a sense of like diminishing in that. Um, like for me to be the boss babe or the, you know, uh, mom or the lover or the incredible woman that like has to make it so that like I am like the ultimate prize of the entire world or universe or it's like I am the ultimate prize a lot of these teachings that like teach us that like we are the number one prize I think the thing that's kind of lost is that is that we are absolutely the prize to the right uh to the right person and everybody gets to have their own prize 
and um, everybody gets to have the relationships that are meaningful and special to them. I think really the difference between um, healthy self-esteem and narcissism is that in healthy self-esteem, we are special to the ones that are special to us. Um, we, we are special to our tribe and our tribe is special to us. We are special to our loved ones and our loved ones are special to us. We are special to our lover, our partner, and our partner is special to us. And um, it's not that we are the chosen special one. And the thing that I think that it's so tricky in, in, you know, in parenting and influence and life and culture where there is kind of... Uh, this idolatry and this worship of, um, you know, particular people or particular ideals that brings about more inherent narcissism, right? Just this, this sense of like, oh, that person is special or, oh, you're really the special one. You're the one chosen special one or the one chosen special guru or all of that. And I think the really important thing about self-esteem is that versus narcissism and that it's, it's nourishing and that it's grounding and then like everybody gets to show up and be special and do their own special contribution to the world and, it, and it's really um, the, the paradigm that we get to move into. We get to move away from this place of uh, being better than other people or other people being better than us or any kind of comparison and we get to move into a place where we feel inspired by people um, and uh, we see their contributions as contributions and we see our contributions um, as equally valuable and beautiful. And uh, it's really, it's really quite a thing because in this whole obsession with narcissism and in this tendency, I just do think there's a tendency of narcissistic traits that people are encouraged to develop. And I do think that there is this wave of people that have developed and chosen um, either, you know, consciously or subconsciously to develop more of these like narcissistic traits. And that doesn't make them wrong. It just makes them at, in a place or it doesn't make me wrong in moments where I've developed narcissistic traits. It just, it's, it, it's a, it's a, a part of, 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 of the journey and you know we get to make other choices and we get to grow in different ways and I think one of the things why people that tend to have highly narcissistic traits can be really uh, interesting to follow or flashy or you know in the dating world or partnership world like they can be kind of intoxicating to be around is um, they really own their own movie they are the stars of their own movie. And I think that there's something beautiful in healthy self-esteem too of being the star of your own movie. Maybe I'd switch it from star to be like the lead, the lead in your own movie. And um, making yourself um, the center point of your experience in a healthy way. Um, that you get to experience a great movie if you are willing to show up and do healing work, if you're willing to um, face and embrace all sides of you, if you're willing to change different pieces within you, you're going to have a pretty spectacular movie that you're leading in, directing, and creating all at the same time um, because as you heal and shift and grow, your whole movie around you is going to heal and shift and grow. And you get to be that lead role in your movie. Um, you're not the sidekick in somebody else's movie. Uh, and, you know, I think within healthy self-esteem, we ha can kind of learn from those, learn from people that demonstrate a lot of narcissistic type of things where they're really the total star of their own, own movie and they just want to enroll all of these sidekicks into their movie um, and realize that we can be the lead in our own movies as well and make our movies spectacular both in 
the ordinary moments and then in the extraordinary moments. And um, so wishing you um, lots of self-esteem, lots of appreciation of yourself and others at the same time and a beautiful movie that you know that you are creating for you and then for your loved ones in your community around you because when we rise in self-esteem and we we really value ourselves there is an inherent sense of us equally valuing the entire crew that um that we're making the movie with all the are uh, all of um the other lead roles and um, the whole community that comes together to film and produce and support and all of that. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you on this drive with this awkward view. I'm playing with just showing up and being messy and perfect. I think that's part of self-esteem is um, not trying to look one way or another. Messy camera angles, messy hair <laughs> up and you know, up in a ponytail after um, just just uh, running out to bring the kids to school. But um, yeah, I just think it's important that we show up and show all sides of us. All right. Thanks for joining me uh, at to Create Love. And I hope you have an amazing day in the beautiful movie that you are creating.